Hello, Joel Lindstrom here. If you're like me, your desktop looks a little bit like this. I use the desktop of my computer to uh, kind of temporary holding area when I'm working with files, creating documents, that sort of thing. Also, when you install applications uh, or you get attachments in your email, you I save them there to temporarily extract the contents of the zip file. And then every application you install seems likes to put an icon on your desktop. But it just gets cluttered over time. And also, uh, it can actually slow your computer down a little bit. Not tremendously, but a little bit. Uh, things like rendering icons on your screen as it loads. And I noticed that OS X on Mac has... a several really good utilities like Hazel and Tidy Folders and things like that that will automatically organize your files for you. And I kind of want to do the same thing with Windows, but there's not really a great alternative that I could find. So I realized, hey, I could do this with Power Automate Desktop. Power Automate Desktop has some really useful actions that you can use to automate management of files and folders on your computer. So I created a flow with a series of get file and move file steps. In the first step, I'm getting the PDF files on the desktop and then putting them into a variable. You can filter to get the files you want using the asterisk.file extension. Then in the move file step, I'm saying to move those files to the PDF folder that's located in my documents folder. And then next I'm doing images and videos and you can actually do multiple types of file filters in the uh, file filter with a separating by semicolon. Then I'm doing the same thing and moving them to pictures and I'm doing the same thing with Excel files, I'm doing the same thing with documents and PowerPoints, and you got to think through every type of file extension you might want to have, if, if, unless you want to dump them all in a single place. But then the zip files, generally I don't want to keep those. Uh, generally those are things that were, you know, like I downloaded and extracted to do something with them, or more likely I zipped up files to send to somebody else, downloaded a power platform solution, and then imported it somewhere else. I generally don't want to keep the uh, zip files around. I, I generally zip files only if I'm using that to send files to somebody else or transporting files. So for that one, I'm getting the uh, the zips. I also don't want to keep the links, the icons. They just clutter things up and I don't need them. And I'm deleting those files. Then I'm going to empty my recycle bin. So let's give this a try. So again, we see... Um, so just one more time. Uh, here's the Here's the before. And now let's run this and then see what the after looks like. Now that I look at my desktop, I can see that it moved or deleted the files that I didn't want on the desktop, and it also emptied the recycle bin. However, my shortcuts are still there. So if I look inside File Explorer, I can see that all the files on the desktop are now gone. However, my desktop icons are still there, so I guess there's something in Windows 10 that protects the icons or doesn't like me to delete them uh, through Power Automate. So I'm going to go ahead and just select these because I don't want these desktop icons. They serve no purpose. I can easily find all these applications just by searching. And then uh, now we are good. Thanks for watching the video.